G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We're back in our millionaire challenge to get a million dollar redos as quickly as we can. Coming in today, 32. Yesterday was Trady Potato Day or Trady Restock Day. Uh, we made some money, but not as much as we have in the past. But we're cooking along nicely. We're, we're at a quarter of a million dollars. We're a quarter of the way there. And to be honest, we've made most of that in the last week. So by my somewhat topsy-turvy logic, hopefully, like, it'll only take me maybe like another two weeks, I suppose, to get to a million. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm yearning for. That is the sound of the sun rising, though, off in the distance, which means today is kicking off. I have put on a, um, a bunch of pocket mods on the craft in my workbench just to uh, have them available to stuff inside any and all of the tier 6 gubs that I managed to come across in my journeys. That's all good. In fact, you're ready to be sold. You're full of mods already. I do need to get some mods for my steel shovels, though I like to try and save a mods for my tier 6 stuff because it's just worth more money. That is going to have to wait. Do I wait around for trade of the open hand in the quest or just get going? Ah, stuff it. Let's just get going. Jump in my gyro and take off through the god rays. My um, my little gyrocopter pad up here isn't <laughs> amazing, I suppose, but it does the job. It keeps my gyro where I can get to it and gives me somewhere to plop it down. That house, I mean, look, I'm, I always feel kind of weird about this thing. I feel more attached to my horde base at the moment than I do to the house that I live in. Because really that house is just the attic that I'm sheltering in and not really much else. I don't have any sort of like emotional connection to it, which is unusual for me. I get emotionally connected to a strapped bit of paint on the wall in a building before I even make up my base. So I don't know how I've resisted that temptation for this long. I'm sure it'll change before too long now that I've said it out loud. But if I lost my horde base now, I'd be miserable. I don't want, I, I love that place. It's so efficient, so good. It's Sammy's home. I don't want to see it go. What I'm going to do while I'm out here... It's just below me. I've got a bit of a swan dive and head down nice and quickly. I've got some time to kill before any of the traders open. I was going to fly to the other side of the world and start at the top and work my way back once the traders did open. But instead, I'm going to put my time to some better use by A, learning how to fly my freaking gyro, but B, raiding the paper mill real quick because I need the paper to make shotgun rounds. I've got the buckshot and I've got the... um. What's what I call it? I've got the gunpowder. So I may as well have just one big stack of, of paper and never have to worry about it ever again. Uh, I'll actually scrap you. I don't need uh, some rotten bread. Take the springs and hopefully an engine out of you to myself another auger and see what that's worth when I go back home tonight. Some more headlights as well. Need to remember to crop myself some more mini bike handlebars too. There's a lot of like... A lot of steps that I have to remember to do, and I'm an idiot, so I'll forget it all the bloody time. I can't be relied to, uh, right on to remember shit. This is why I probably get so frantic at the end of it. But that's for later. Shotgun reloaded, XP gogs on. Let's get murdering. Who's in here? Who's napping? Who wants to nap forever? You do, you do, and you do. Oh, the shotguns are so good. What I might do... Because I am so, like, obsessed with loot at the moment, and because you can get some pretty decent T6 stuff out of, uh, like, regular bags and stuff like that, I might even leave, like, even, like, the filing cabinets and things. I might leave all of this till later and just do the whole sodden POI. Damn it. I tried to charge him and it didn't work out for me. Do the whole POI in just one fell swoop under the looting candy. It gives me five minutes of good looting, which I could definitely manage to do uh, on, oh God, on one looting candy. So that's not too much of an ask, I don't think. Uh, you're normally there, put you down as well. Baseball's doing a wonderful job. My loadout right now is ridiculous. What? Why? 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 I wanted to raid that bloody safe. Why did you break? I don't want the pile of food. Give me the bloody wall safe instead. Damn it. I got ratted. Speaking of eye candy, there's one right there hanging out in the bloody vendo. So I'll take you. Cheers, big ears. Uh, ooh, you do have jailbreakers as well. Which I should probably take with me. Given my lack of lockpicks... Probably not a bad idea to have a stash of um, lockpicking candy in my back pocket. Bit stingy with the old bookshelves. A little bit disappointing. 
Is it just you, bud? I hope so. I mean, trade is open now, so time is ticking away. <laughs> oh, babe, all bad. You're the hottest thing I've ever had in my hands. Maybe getting third degree burns and stabbed in the palms, but I do not care. Everybody's good and dead. I don't even need to go back down to my gyro to get my looting can because I already have it on me. Uh, what can I get rid of though? I don't need some stones. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Or all of you guys are worth a little bit of money. So I'll keep you on me. Loot and specs on. Eye candy in. I've got no saves to break apart because I got <laughs> uh, screwed over with the one downstairs. Open both of you. Seven. Wow. Wow. I got loot and specs on and I ate loot and candy. He gave me seven shotgun rounds. Oh, never mind. He made up for it. Tier six iron helmets. Thank you very much. I'll scrap you for parts and you for parts. You even came with a mod, which I appreciate. Tier four compy bow. Not as good as my one, but I appreciate the gesture and some ammo. I miss the days, back in the good old days when um, mattresses used to actually break your fall. You'd come up here and just jump off here and land on that mattress and you wouldn't break your ankles. That's not a thing anymore. You'll break your ankles landing on a mattress now. So that whole like shortcut to the ground is gone. That's fine. Need to work right down the inside anyway. So find all the good loot stuff. Check the bookcase. Anything good? Oh, oh yes. That's a good get. Rad Remover Schematic, that goes in anything. Like the Crippler mod does, but Rad Remover is a bit more useful. Goes in slightly more things than the Crippler mod. I say with absolutely zero reason for thinking that. That's just the way it works in my head. I am starting to consider though, how valuable like keeping recipes on me is. I keep all the books and I keep all the schematics I find. But like potentially, because I don't stack very well, potentially they're taking up space that other things could. Quickly check you as well. Some more red tea to make learning elixir eventually. No other things to really loot in here. Still mad about that safe. Still really heckin' mad about that safe. <sighs> got dicked. Got dicked long and hard all through the night. That's not really what I was hoping for. Scrap you, take the painkillers. I'll quickly break down you while I'm here because waste not whatnot and all that. Still need to find some more um needle and thread kits as well. I don't have many and I don't think I can make them. What are they even called again? Um, they're not called needle and threads. What the shit are they called? They're called sewing kits and they don't exist in the crafting menu. So I can't make them, which is a bit of a damn shame. You would think, I mean, look, okay. Okay. Welcome to Josh's Rants, part 776,000. Uh, needle and thread, the books, right? The worthless books that no one uses other than the double uh, storage pocket mod. Why isn't a book in the Needle and Thread series give you the ability to make your own needle and uh, like sewing kits? That would be actually really bloody handy and give me and uh, will incentivize me to actually look for those things whenever I could. But instead, I just never think of them because there's nothing worthwhile in there once you have the double pocket mod. And even then, once you get later on to the game, it's not nearly as critical as it once was. That would be a good addition. Someone make that a thing, please. Change the shotgun books and add that into. Ooh. <laughs> yep, add that into the books. Let me make these. It's just a needle and some yarn. Let me make those. Job done raiding the joint, but we all know that's not the sole reason for my coming here. Uh, ooh, I've got a minute. I've got a minute and I might be able to quickly make it through here because I'm pretty sure. Doesn't this joint have a safe at the top of it? Scrap you. In fact, I'll scrap that as well. There we go. Don't know why I scrapped that into seven stones. I can piss off. Let me in. No one waiting for me in here. I thought there was a gun safe in here. Maybe it's further up. I do have... Oh, I've got that lockpicking candy on me as well. Do I blow it now? Do I save it for later? Can I quickly get inside here, please? There's probably someone guarding it. Definitely is. Hang on. Oh, God. I didn't mean to open it that quickly. Woo! Right. No. Don't get up. We're fine. We're good. 20 seconds. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. I either get in... Or I get nothing. It's all come down to this. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, it's gonna do it. Oh, it's gonna do it. In on the first crack. Looting gogs are on. Looting candy's still going. And it fucking gave me a tier six iron spear for me troubles. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. By the skin of me dick, we managed to get through it. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it when it all pays off. 
You can hold on to all of that for me. That's worthless. I could piss off. Right. Well, now that we've done all that, I can change you over to that one and go and find the sea traded potato. No, I can't yet. I have to break down all the paper. I got too excited. I got too excited about the loot. Got plenty of paper to go and grab for myself. We've raided one place and we've come out with all the things that we needed. Oh, I'm excited. It's taking a bit of time to get through it all because my stamina is just dog shit right now. But if you're curious as to why I was excited about raiding the paper mill uh, and like really pushing for it, it's purely because... That's weird to have a spider zombie out and about at a time like this. There might be a wandering horde out there. But it's purely because... Paper, like you get so much paper out of here for making shotgun rounds. It's like you come here once and you never need it again. But you also get a shitload of experience from just breaking down paper spools. So it's kind of a win-win and a no-brainer. The little stumps at the bottom don't matter. They're made out of wood. It's only the tops I'm after. Just cut off the tip of it. Just the tip. That's all that I'm after. I have to deal with that spider zombie in a second. I'm not sure what you're doing here or who called you in, but you need to piss off for a second. I think I've got all the paper. I've got 2,900 of it. In fact, you're worth not much, actually. I thought paper was worth more than it actually is, but I guess not. Well, in that case, I'll quickly get outside and deal with these rapscallions that are causing me problems out here. So yeah, it was like a wandering horde that just showed up at a real inopportune time and just shamble about in the field out here rather than actually causing me any issues. Yeah, okay. It's just a bunch of clowns. Well, you know what? Normally I'd stay in Slaughter, but I've got things to do today. I have already burned enough time this morning faffing about with murdering all of your kind. So time for me to leave. Go see Jolly Boy, but job done. XP gotten and paper gotten. Good raid. Just trying to park my gyro as close to the entrance. That's pretty much bang on, actually. As close to the entrance as I can. Is there anything I can sell right off the bat? Although most of this stuff can come home with me, I suppose. But I am dead out of space in my gyro, boy. Give me you and you. And you actually, you all need, you all need to be repaired sooner rather than later anyway. Both of you can come with to try and save myself some space. Right. Uh, repair you. Repair you modify then repair you there you go and repair that one that'll free up all of two spaces which is fairness is a couple of hundred papers um don't need that you can get turned into frames and what else can i get rid of seven lead piss off okay nice now that we've done that let's get inside and see what he's got for us Let's always check his vendo see what's going on Sugar butts. I'll take you because I'm having on me right now anyway. Rock busters and some health bars as well. Sick. All right. Jolly. Already off to a good start, but you're having something worthwhile in your vendo. Oh, uh, XP here. gogs are on, so your super secret stash is a go. What do you have available? What can I take off your hands? Let's start with the buckshot. Nice. There's no schematics or books in his inventory to start with. It's not the only thing I'm looking for, but it's definitely the most important if I do manage to find them. Plaster car schematic? Uh, yeah, not too bad. And also a bar brawling. Is that it? Is that all you're going to give me? Holy shit. A tier 5 Dolce? $12,000 redos. If I wanted one, that's the way to go about it. Steel shove. Uh, steel tool parts. No, no, and no. Uh, so not a lot. All right, I will just quickly check then. Your not so secret stash. Open inventory. Check your other one. Just because there's something good going on here. Marks are off a of schematic. Sniper volume one. Metal spikes mod schematic. You're starting to tickle me, Jib. What's you starting to get me a little bit excited? Well, yeah, right. Yeah, all right. I'm game. I'm game. Quickly pop a couple of mints so my breath is extra convincing. Uh, give me that one. That one. And that one. And that one. And that'll just about do me out of that. Double check. You Not we're missing anything. Sometime. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all done. I'm all done. Calm down. Calm your bloody farm. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. I feel like I might want that and not need it than the other way around. If I break my leg and I need to make plastic casts, I'm going to want to have that up my sleeve. So that's fine with Thank me. No whackers, knackers. Soon. What have you got in your questy, boys? Things. Next door. I'm in a or waterworks. Or what else you got? Anything else? I think it's a little bit fun. Just a little bit fun. Stop sending me the bloody waterworks. You bastard. Get stuff, Jolly Boy. I'll see you in a couple of days.
As I fly off to the next trade potato, I think it's trade a hue all the way out here. I'm kind of hoping that the gubs that I have in my gyro are like the incidentals you pick up in every POI, right? So like the stuff that I'll always be stacking onto. Otherwise, I'm a shit out of luck because I got no room on me. The paper is one thing. Paper's going to come in handy later, so it's good to bring that home with me. I probably have more than I'll ever need, but I'd rather have it and then not be sorry for it. But like things like, you know, some brass and some like some wood and iron and leather stuff like that. Springs even, sewing kits I can stack onto. I didn't check for sewing kits at Trader Potato. I'll check at this one. Although nothing jumped out of it while scrolling through. I would hope, though I don't trust myself, that I would have noticed that and grabbed them when I could. Why do I fly so bloody high? I'm only going to get myself killed when I accidentally tap E again. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping I'll find the same things to stack onto it so I don't run out of space, but... I don't think I'm that lucky. As always, check the Vendo. Gaunt. Ooh, eye candy and sugar butts. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, right. I think I have enough rock, rock busters for now. I think given no I went and mined all the things here. in the world, my mining days floor. are kind of behind me. What are you going to offer me? Before I forget, no sewing kits. All righty dighty then. Well, I've still got my minty fresh breath to get a good deal from you, lad. So show me what you got. I'll take those. It's only like, yeah, what, a couple hundred bucks? That's fine with me. What else is around? What you gonna offer me? Give me anything and I'll throw money at you. Dude's got nothing. Dude's got like two pages of gubs. That's really about it. Ooh, every time I see the tier six, I get excited. Even when it's something that I have no intention of buying. Really at all. I'm not sure if I need solar. I really need power over at the horde base. So solar is not quite as critical. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just because it's a book I haven't read, just to get it done and get it done once and never have to worry about it again. And nothing else. Trader Hugh, you've been my friend before. You do have a fair few things, but nothing that's really going to benefit me, I don't think. I don't need you because I just don't think I need you at all, actually, for my the grand overarching Good scheme of things. There. I don't think it's super important. Change over you. Have a quick chat. See what's in your not-so-secret stash. Weapon flush up mod schematic. I'll buy you. Um, rocket launcher schematic. No. And no. Wow. That's right. Do the math. You were a complete waste of my time, tradey boy. I came all this way just to have a chin wag because you got nothing for me to buy. Raiding the Fates Motel. That's actually... It's a long POI. It's always like... I'm always doing this equation in my head between... How? Oh, there's the ocean all the way up there. I'm as far north as you can go. It's kind of hard to see, but there's definitely... That's the coastline just over there. In fact, I'll pull up a little bit. Oh, that's down, Josh. Get your directions right. Uh, that's the coastline just over there. So I couldn't go any further north if I wanted to. So I don't know where the winter biome is. Yeah, look. That's the beach. I kind of used the peripheral vision a little bit just to kind of see it. That's the beach out there. So where the shit is the winter biome then? I thought I was like kind of smack dab in the middle of the map, but apparently I'm not. So there you go. You learn something new every day. I don't know what to do with that information. Hmm. Okay. Well, my guess to find the desert by going east was founded on thinking that the, um, the winter biome was north. But I was completely fucking wrong. Well, guess it's... Guess it's better to have more luck than talent. More ass than class, for sure. The weather has turned a little bit. It's got nice and dark and gloomy. Just bought an extra loot and candy and an extra Snickers bar out of the vendo at the front. Right. Oh, I'm in the wrong glasses. Hang on a second. I'll quickly change over to you. Still got plenty of time on my loot, uh, my, um, my trading candy. So I'll buy that while I'm here. Uh, ooh, jars of honey. That's going to come in handy. Could go and break down a bunch of stumps, but rather than just buy them, I have them guaranteed to me. Anything else getting me excited? Not really. Not really at all. I'll take those. You definitely have any sewing kits. No, you don't. You don't have any schematics either. Um, stun button schematic. Fuck you too, Trader Rex. I'll, I'll burn your house to the ground. You know I wanted schematics so you offer me that piece of shit? Oh, if I wanted to ask for your personality in book form, I'd wait for you to write half a page of your autobiography. Because after that, if anyone who read it would just be crying blood. There's not much else in here for me. I'll take the Great Heist. I can fall 15 minutes without taking damage if I'm rich, which I currently am. So yes, please, I'll take you. Oh, you want a guarantee, huh? I well, do not. Maybe you should try Shamway. You couldn't <laughs> guarantee me some illicit substances, you mustachioed bitch. Uh, what have you got? Ooh, I'll take you. 
I don't need the knuckle schematic, and I will take. Ooh, no, ooh, maybe. No, I don't have any points in pistols, so there's no point in me making an SMG. Because uh, I have to spec up to make a high level one to make it worth my while. No so, no, refunds. thank you. Deal's done. Now, beat it, fucker. Oh, I tried to shoot you, but nah. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll keep one round in the chamber. Maybe you and me can go play some Russian roulette in a little bit. All right. That job's done. Jen is a million miles away. I was going to go see her next, but instead, I think I'm just going to go straight to the desert and see what I can find out there. Now that it's pissing down rain as well, I want to get my goods to be significantly less soggy than it currently is, so let's go sog it with sweat instead. I just want to find a cool PY. I want to find a firing range. It's got a, one of those hardened chests and some good loot, and it's definitely doable. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm trying to stay relatively close to the ground because I can't see a nipple out here. It's foggy as dicks, and visibility is pretty piss poor. But I know the desert's out here somewhere. As soon as I see the ground change, the fog should lift because it's different weather for different biomes. So that's what I'm hoping for. Though I've been flying for a bit. I'm still over the lake, so I've got plenty of time to go. Plenty of time to go. Oh, never mind. There it is right there. Nice. Okay, so I can get into them and see what's around. What POI is that actually? Even if we can find like... This is why the pawn shop is such an enticing raid. Because it's a very quick raid, a very easy raid. And it has a really good um, hardened chest in it. Although I was hoping for the rain to stop. But I'm now... There we go. I'm now in the desert. But the, the fog is still here. Let me see some shit. Oh, Oh, g'day. That looks like a Trader Gen just down there. It bloody is too. I was just flying just into the fog, hoping to see a couple of buildings. And I stumbled across a town, not only a town, but it's Jen's town. Well, all right. <laughs> I won't mind having two Jens. That's like a dream come true. Jenny girl, how you bloody doing, lass? I came all this way deliberately just to see you. I definitely didn't stumble across you by accident. This was deliberate. This was planned. I'm romantic and shit like that, I promise. Please be impressed with me and please just give me a cheeky little snuggle just to make myself feel a bit better. That's a fucking good get. I'll take you. I don't need that, though. What else is around? A working forge? Jen? What's going on? I can. Thank you very much. Look at that. You haven't got my favorite snacks. You knew I was coming, didn't you? So you put the kettle on for me, wouldn't you, love? Now that I've ransacked her house, though, it's time for you to actually have a chat. The name's Jenny, but you can call me Dr. Jen. Took a moment to realize I was standing in front of you there, did you? I mean, I get it's dry outside, but having dry eyes is no excuse. Um, what are you going to give me? Jen normally doesn't let me down, although I feel like I put way too much expectation on every time I even think about having a chat to her. And that's why I get so hurt when she forgets who I am. So I won't try and put any pressure on you, Jen. You do have a book, but it's not one that I need. What about your not-so-secret stash? I'll take you. In fact, before I take you, do I need to have the extra sugar butts? How many things are going to be buying off you, Jen? If it's just the one, I won't bother. Okay, there's only one in there. Uh -huh. Nothing this time. I'll give you something. Don't you bloody worry about it. What about your super secret stash? Uh, you've got some expensive mods, which I don't want. You've got Night Stalker. Another book. So Ooh. So, no, I won't buy that. I've got two things I want to buy. And a chill dog recipe. Okay, that's three things. That's really? worth... Yeah, no, just, just, well, okay then. just fucking hang on a second. Jeez. Normally, I'm way too quick for you. Now, I'm taking my time and you're getting pissy at me. Let me take more than 30 seconds to do the deed. I thought that's what you wanted, Jenny girl. Thank hey, you both so of much. those. Hey, come again. Oh, 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 well, funny you should say it because I think I'm about to. I'll take this one too, which I think is the last book in my... I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Oh, I found you a long time ago, Jenna. I haven't looked back. I think that's the last book in that series. Read you first. No fanfare, that's fine. Cheeky chili dog recipe. Come on, give me those trumpets. Oh, baby, there it is. I now have the automatic weapons handbook done and dusted. I can craft them 60s. I can't make a good one, though, which is a bit upsetting. But each kill boosts my run speed for 20 seconds. I should have only count if I kill someone with a machine gun. But even so, another completed series is another happy woodle. While I was shamelessly hitting on Jen, the weather did lift. Now I can actually see a little bit more of what I have to deal with. Um, all pretty similar POIs though. There's a Cracker Book HQ. 
Which if I'm looking for schematics, would probably be a good call? I guess there's a prison. There's also a store down there. I think it's a Shamway from memory. Yes, it is a Shamway. I recognize the trailer out the back of it. Um, anything else exciting around here? And look, there's and there's the other coastline. We're in the most northern easternest corner of the map. All right, uh, I think I might actually. Ah, oh, shit! It's real bold. It's real bold for what? Four o'clock in the afternoon. But when we're gonna be up here again? I know this is Jenny's hometown. There's another Wayne Manor all the way down there as well. I saw it in the distance. When I when am I gonna be up here again? I think it might be worthwhile me now. Having a crack at this bad boy and seeing if I can get through it. Take all of that. Hold on to all of that for me. Got an extra bunch of gubs. All right, now I really need to be picking up what I'm going to get rid of because things are taking up space and I need, for a big skyscraper like this, I need a clear inventory. Instead of just putting everything into my gyro, I'm going to put down some chests. I'll keep you on me and store you into there just so things can stack a bit easier rather than throwing potentially valuable things away because I won't know how much inventory space I have left after I've raided the joint. Because I have my pockets and the gyro's pockets to squeeze as many things into as woodly possible. Not quite humanly possible because I'm way too much of a muppet to call myself that. That can piss off. In fact, I don't need... Either I'll take the painkillers just in case and break these down for springs and whatnot. But no use taking gubs that I have at home in plentiful supply. Alright, it's now 5 o'clock. I don't think that's enough time to push through a cracker book POI all in one go, but I'm gonna try and rush it as much as I can. XP Gogs are probably a smart idea. As well as potentially oh god. As well as potentially bring in um some uh looting candy when I get to the roof as well. Probably not a particularly oh! Bad idea. Who tickled me? Tels. Rude. All right. You can't come behind me like that unannounced and have your way with me. Well, these give me a heads up. Tickle me earlobes or something like that. Let me know you're there. I might actually leave the looting candy in there for the moment. Although, how many do I have? Because I have been buying them pretty readily. Not in there. How many do I actually have cooking around in here? Five of them? I'm mostly concerned with how much inventory space I don't have right now. But one painkiller could just actually stay with me. I was going to get rid of it, but I've already taken a tickle or two, so wouldn't mind having that just in case. Uh, if I give both of you, and you can live in uh, that chest. There you go. Uh, nah, it's fine. It's fine. I was going to use it to like, like a couple like safes and things along the way, but I don't think a looting can is going to help me that much in getting schematics out of bookshelves. I don't think it makes that much of a difference, so I'll ignore it for now. Instead, I will just quickly have a squeeze through like this safe and like whatever I find along the way and just save that looting candy for all the loot on the roof when it's actually going to make a difference. I'm breaking lockpicks and it's starting to piss me off. There's the zeros. Thank God for that. Got five remaining. I will need some more before too long. Scrap you, robotics parts and machete parts. I can't make myself uh, a better machete. That's why I'm still cruising around with the tier one one because it just kind of makes sense that way. Scrap you, take the acid. So I need acid and I need sewing kits. So really the two uh, incidentals that I'm really looking for. Uh, I'll eat you and just take the waters in case I need it later. Nothing else really in here. All right, making good time, making good efforts. Let's keep on going. No books over there to be had. There's a couple of zombies to be murdered. So XP Gogs back on. <laughs> Zombie heads off. God, it's a good time. That's a fat cop. And, well, it was a fat cop. Turns out if I just charge a bunch of gooses one after the other, it actually turns out pretty much okay for me. If I could actually hit the broad side of a fucking barn, dude was deep throating the muzzle of your silencer there, Josh. And you still couldn't hit his tonsils. What the shit are you doing? <laughs> Almost as nice and relaxed though. Have a cheeky dip into you. What about on the other side? Just trying to go as quickly as I can. If I can get this done today, that'd be great. I'm not hopeful of that though, because that's a real big ask, but I'm going to give it my dandest anyway. Oh, that was really fucking risky. Why the shit did I even try that? That's not something I normally do. I just had an urge and I fucking did it. Whew! The adrenaline. I've made it to the third level, which I think is the first level where you really start getting some... Decent uh, book loot. I mean, I think in here. Are you are you hiding bookshelves? I think you are. Look at that in the corner of there, just behind your noggin. There you go. Give you a hand. Give you a baton. Give you a cheeky follow up. 
Fuck yeah. So that's the thing. Do you think that Looting Caddy actually affects the chance of getting books out of bookshelves? I don't think that it does, but I'm not entirely sure. And if it does, I'm not sure it gives me enough to warrant going down and using a looting candy on it. So I'll work up with that. Oh, a fucking Dolce recipe. Thank you very much. I don't need paper. I have oodles of it already. A book I've already read. And look at that. I was going to buy you a second ago. Save myself some money. Power doors and bridges schematic. Always a good time. And another st uh, nice stalker book. Not the last one though. That's fine, but we're making good tracks. Checking everything on the way through. I remember that being a trap, so we'll hold off on that for the moment. You're just a regular Jeff. There we go. The bat's still really good, like nine times out of 10. It's really only one coming up against like ferals or something. Oh, speaking of ferals, that I have to worry about busting out the old shoddy. Basil bat's doing a heckin' good trick on him for the moment. Don't need nitro powder, got plenty of it. Don't need you, got plenty of those. No, I said I don't need you. Take the bloody hints. Oh, I'll sure I'm because they're actually kind of valuable for making explosives. Don't need feathers. Always check the loo for a cheeky toilet pistol, which I don't think I've found in this playthrough yet. Nothing there. Couple of mups in here. If you could all just make your way out nice and easy, out to the front so I know where you are. No one likes surprises, especially when I'm on, uh, as on edge as I am now. There's another sewing kit and some XP gogs, actually, which are worth a considerable amount of coins. So, yes, please. Well, worth, like, what? $260 redos. That's better than, like, a tier 3 helmet. That's pretty bloody good. Extra uh, nutritional water out of you. I did forget, though. Here. Charge straight across. Yep, don't let it fall. That's a long bloody drop too. Don't fall to your death down there. Grab you. Make sure we're in the right gogs. I might sell you, actually. That's the thing. Like, that schematic is worth less than the XP gogs. It takes up the same amount of space. If I could, I'd just take all XP gogs and no schematics at all. We've made it to the other side where I'm pretty sure a bunch of clans are already awake and waiting for me. Already got my XP gogs on. Almost bloody missed you from point blank. That wasn't your best effort there. You're just a regular map. You're fine. I think we're mostly fine across the board. Is this another library in here, though? No. Where was the other light? There it is. Huh? There it is. And yours over here somewhere. Have a crack at you. Couple books I've already read. Paper. Got plenty of it. No, thank you. Ooh. Two things I haven't read. I'll read you. No fanfare, that's fine. And full auto uh, trigger mod. I have the semi-auto, which is cheaper to make. So I'll probably keep cranking those out instead. Mm, I haven't specced into armor at all at the moment, actually. So, yes. Maybe if I start speaking into light armor, like making tier five armor myself to put a bunch of mods into, like that could be a pretty significant money farm, which probably isn't a particularly bad idea. Some cheeky coffees. Just some extra iron. Always check the garbage as well. For duct tape and books. I was hoping for some sewing kits, but that'll do. Regular iron and... No, not much else. All right, I've missed some doors along the way. What else is around? It's now almost nine o'clock and I'm just getting through the last bits of loot in this floor. Uh, I'll... S no, I don't want to scrap you. Whatever. That's fine. I'm um starting to worry though. I am running out of space here quite fast. I might have to go downstairs and quickly stash some shit into my... That's a bit of a long drop of death, isn't it? Stash some shit into, like, those boxes outstairs because it's getting kind of late. Mm, but I could keep pushing. If I keep pushing, what's the worst that happens? I might get into a bit of a fight that I can't really deal with, but, I mean, shotguns can deal with everything, so that's less of a concern and more of this uh, slight inconvenience. Now, let's just push. Let's just push. We can consider the consequences of our actions later. For now, though... I just want to <laughs> deprive as many zombies as possible of all of their limbs and all of their futures. Because that's what I am. I'm the harbour of death and destruction, both my own hopes and dreams, and also the zombies. Oh god, I just realised I have nine rounds left in my shotgun, so I'm really going to have to make this count. God damn it. I needed you to go the same way as all of your friendos. If you guys could get in the line real quick, that would be super beneficial to me. Damn it, I needed you to die on the first swing. Guys, I just don't have the ammo. Oh, fuck it. If you're just regular zombies, screw the shotgun. We'll pick that up again later on, but we're going to have to go into full ammo conservation mode. That is a mild problem. 
That is not how I wanted that to happen at all. I shit. What's what what's the plan there, Josh? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna deal with the fact you don't have any ammo for your beloved shotgun? There is some pretty fucked up shit on the roof of this building, and you're cruising up there with some coarse language. I mean, you're pretty good at swearing, but I don't think you're that good. I'm not sure you can kill all the zombies up there with nothing but shouting. Well, we've come this far, and it's about to get night time, so even dicier than it was. This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible freaking idea. If I die tonight, let it be known that now. Ooh. There's a fan fan, I mind if I fucking do. Let it be known that right now, as I sit here, I'm saying this is a terrible idea, and I should be going home. So, I can be right, or I can be dead. I can now craft the ghillie suits. Which is tempting, but it does get rid of like my helmet and stuff like that. So that's, that's, that's the problem. I feel like the ghillie suit should be a mod for armor as opposed to replacing your clothes. But that's another completed series, which I'm all about. I'm here now, so I may as well see what I can find. Take you to sell as well. Is it even worth selling the books? I should be reading them. They're worth basically dick all. The schematics are worth a bit. The books are worth nothing. Maybe keeping those is hindering me a little bit. We're almost completely full. I'm checking the last of these. Another book I haven't read. Oh, another fanfare. We're starting to really get through it now. Sprint longer and never keep coming to the burnt forest. We'll never freaking go there anyway, but thank you anyway. Uh, I'm a little bit hurt. By a little, I mean quite a lot. Um, did I bring painkillers with me? I did. Lucky I did too. Quickly have a quick nonch of those. Don't need the extra one. I'll save you for I need it in a little bit. I think... Given my current status of having no space in my inventory, the schematics can stay because it's two books to get the same value out of a schematic. So I think all of these can be read. This might be a silly idea. Oh, I have a book I haven't read there. That's kind of silly of me. Do you give me fanfare? No, nah, you don't. That's fine. But I read all of the books. Ignore those fanfares. They're fake fanfares. Freeze up a bunch of space. I'm still keeping the stuff that's actually worth a bit of coin. Because, yeah, that was just, like, lining my pockets with nothing for no bloody reason. Read you, take you, move on. Thank God, an extra eight rounds of shotgun ammo. I'll just keep you there for the moment so I can keep on pushing through with everything else. Have I missed anything around here? I did miss you. Do I keep pushing? That's the golden question. Like, I'm near the top. Do I keep pushing to hopefully get some good gubs at the top? But with only... I was put you in. That is 16 rounds... Oh, shotgun ammo. Is that actually a good idea? It's probably not. No, I don't need either of you. Oh, but I'm so close though. I can almost taste it. Holy shit. I didn't even realize. I thought it was just regular corn seeds. It's a corn seed recipe that I've been looking for for a hot minute. So good get there. That's worthwhile. I don't need two <laughs> bits of gunpowder that can go away. Scrap you just for the iron. Anything else fun and exciting? No, not really. There is a hidden stash up here. I might grab that real quick. And, oh, this is where I usually get to. It's where I, oh, mm, I don't like it. I want to keep going, but all of my insides are telling me no. Josh, it's a terrible idea. But when do I ever listen to my gut feeling? In fact, most of the time. And it usually saves me. I can sell you. Uh, I can sell you. I think I have to go for it. I think I have to go for it. Just, oh, it's such a bad idea though. Another 10 shotgun rounds. That's good for me. I'll load it up if I can. No, 16 is the max, but that's like, if I play that right, that's another couple of zombie kills. So uh, I shall take those with me. Oh, how much more do I have to go? How much more of this God for second POI do I have to do? No, I think it's too late. I think it's too late. I might have to stay here over... Oh, fuck me. Might have to stay here overnight and just raid it in the morning because I don't want to come all this way and leave some stones unturned. You're taking up space. I'll scrap you for the iron if I can, please. There we go. You can replace that. Yeah, I think that's the right call. I think waiting till morning is the right option. No use me pushing it now. Because there's hundreds of thousands of dollar dues on the line, and if I bin it, I bin it hard. Thank you, binning things. Who's this? Who's waiting for me at the side? Arles? Is that you? It is Arlene. It is Arlene. Come to see me after so long. 
Good to see him. Good to kill ya. Just dropping off the things that I can into my boxes outside. Go like that. Store you guys in there too. Rereading the books, I think, is the right call. For only, a, I thought they were worth more, but for only a hundred bucks a pop, they're really not that important or that good for um, selling stuff. So I think that was the right option. Duct tape, I know, has a place already. Wasn't in there though. I lied. It's in that one. And that leaves me free to quickly grab one of you. Still, that stupid bloody white river supply is taking up space. I should have given a bob before I left this morning. Oh, but I think I was going to bunker down on one of the floors upstairs. It does put a hindrance on like my mod creation to go back to trading potatoes in a couple of days and get all the value I possibly can. But it does mean that like come tomorrow, I can spend the morning finishing off this quest that should give me uh, a fair amount of decent loot. I bloody hope so anyway. And also mean that I can um, well go home with all the better stuff ready to sell the next day. Nash is smart, I think. So, uh, oh, I didn't even see you last time. You working? You are working. You don't have anything good inside you, though. But I'm just going to hang out up here, I think, and just wait for the morning chime to come. Oh, that was a big day. There's a box. I'm just kind of cruising around looking for anything. Oh, that was a miss. I may have missed before. Just to make sure I'm getting everything I can. Some cheeky gas out of you. Ooh, a bunch of lockers as well. You often have some pretty good gubs. I was in such a rush to get through here before. I think I left most of this stuff behind. Anything in that one? Some loot and specs. Not as good as my current, so you can just kind of stay in there. Because you're not worth much, are you? Only 130. And given I'm throwing away all the books that are worth that much, be silly to hold on to those ones. Check you. What's inside that one? Some water and some antibiotics. Anything else? I'm sure I've missed a whole bunch of gubs, so doing a once-over is just a good idea. Ooh, another Vendo as well. Mm, I'll take you, because I'm not sure if I have to unlock the box on the roof. I'm really actually quite nervous about how tomorrow morning's going to go with my severe lack. My severe lack of shotgun ammo. I rely on it so much that something when I don't have it anymore, I'm suddenly completely bloody useless. You need to be a tier 3. Uh, tier 3 will get me to there as well. So the next couple of points should all go into perception. That lucky looter might just be the difference, you know. Just finding the good stuff like tier 5s and 6s, any things to start with, um, is kind of the be-all and end-all of everything I'm trying to do right now. Let's just hang out in this office. That's fine. We're good. Well, I haven't raided you yet. I have a cheeky squiz. Some more sewing kits. I'll scrap the nails. I'll take the sewing kits. Absolutely and lootly. It's a good view up here. I like this corner off. It's a good place to be with the prison next door. Oh, man. Okay, so tomorrow, as soon as the morning drops... Uh, yeah, so as soon as the morning drops, I'll have to go up and raid the next floor and then raid the roof because once it's morning time again, the zombies shouldn't be too bad. And I'll try and save my shotgun rounds for, like, the raids and stuff like that. 26 rounds is not much, especially with the shooting form I've been in lately. It's not much at all. So might have to rely on the old baseball bat and the bow a little bit more than I'm used to. But I'll have to do that raid. Do that raid, finish off the old Cracker Book HQ, head back home, hand in the quest, and go and see what the other trade potatoes are offering as well, and probably swing past true Jenny Girl, not uh, her twin sister just over here, uh, on the way through as well. Lots to do. And then I have to make some more money. Because Trade Potato Day is coming up once again. Got to make some mods. Got to repair my T6s. Get everything going for me. To make as much money as we can. Because I think we're still on what, like 260000 Whatever it was. Whatever I left with this morning. Not that much. But either way. I'll have to come back and make some more dollar redos in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you all like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.